fact that testosterone boosters are ineffective. In fact, I would say the vast majority are ineffective, but there are still some that are effective because they have the right active ingredients from the right sources. Yes, some do. Some do. Um, a lot of misconceptions when it comes to testosterone boosters is the ingredient tribulus. People think that tribulus directly affects testosterone levels. That's not true. What it does is it increases the luteinizing hormone, LH hormone, in the body. This is for a sex drive. And what happens in older men is this goes down. So when LH is elevated in older men, generally speaking, this correlation with testosterone comes up as well. But if you're a young guy, say in your 20s or your 18, 19, your LH levels are extremely high already. So consuming tribulus is not going to raise your testosterone. It is going to raise your LH. But one thing about tribulus is that it does help digest protein. So for that reason alone, it is still effective in, in a bodybuilding machine. The three ingredients that are proven scientifically to improve testosterone levels are diaspartic acid, long jacks, and fenugreek. These three active ingredients can raise natural testosterone levels up to 40% in healthy men. Basically, if you're looking for a natural testosterone booster that's effective, there are three recommendations, judging by social proof and ingredient profile. As Isotest GF, it's Alpha Protocol by Bodybuilding.com, their Platinum Series. And the final one is Deep Holes by Purist Labs. If you enjoyed this information and would like the full 12-part series of the top questions that people ask when it comes to bodybuilding supplements, visit rawmusclegain.com free. I'll see you there.